Hey guys, it's Shelby, otherwise known as Shelbizzle here on YouTube, and welcome to another episode of Vlogmas, and I am so excited to make today's video because it's a video I've been planning to make for over a year now. I wanted to make it last December, and then I just never got around to it, but this year with me doing Vlogmas, it is a staple. I had to do this video, and that is which Christmas tree is more sustainable more eco-friendly or the better choice for the environment in general. Now there are a few questions that I asked myself whenever I thought about making this video that we need to take into consideration to decide which one of these trees is more sustainable. The problem is is that we'll be comparing basically apples to oranges because the concerns with a real tree are very different than the concerns with an artificial tree. With both of these trees though, the two things that we need to consider are what is it made out of, what are the inputs that it takes to create that product. And I really encourage you guys to do this with almost anything and everything you ever buy. Consider what the impact of just creating that product is to begin with. Uh, there's a really awesome project called The Story of Stuff that has great content on this and it's always linked in my description box but I'll link it at the top this time. It really helps you understand why whenever you're considering a product and you're trying to figure out if it is eco-friendly or not to consider the upstream environmental harms that come with that product as opposed to just the downstream. But that's the other part of it. We're considering how it's made and then also how it's disposed of. So with a artificial tree and a real tree, they both have very different concerns, right? The inputs of an artificial tree are things like plastics, petroleum, metal, and things like that. And the inputs with a real tree are still significant, but they're different. They're water, nutrients for the soil, and stuff like that. A few questions that I think we need to consider to start the comparison is, how long does the average consumer keep their artificial fake Christmas tree. The reason that's so important to know is because a real Christmas tree is only used for one year. So the inputs that it takes to create that one tree has to be redone year after year after year. However, if an artificial tree is able to last your whole lifetime, then maybe that is the more sustainable option because it's one impact, one time, and then it's always there. Does that make sense? So that was my first question. How long does the average consumer keep a fake tree? My other question was, how much water and nutrients does it take to produce a real tree? And then my third question is, how are each of these things disposed of once their life is done? So to answer the first question, how long does the average consumer keep their Christmas tree? I used Ecosia to find the answer and what I found is that the numbers are not for sure. There are not super solid studies on this and that's why this video is a little bit more casual and not super scientific because there's not a lot of research out there about this topic. However, from some vague studies and some guesstimates, I found that the average consumer keeps their Christmas tree for between four to 10 years. Now, I must remind you guys that I come from a family who does not believe in my value system. They don't find, I guess, value in worrying about the environment and being more sustainable. So people in my family have fake trees. Let's just say that. Um, my parents have one. My aunt has one. My grandpa had one. Uh, just a lot of people have that. When I moved out, my parents are a little bit older now. It's a little bit harder for them to set up a tree, even though we help them do it every year. So I don't know why that was their excuse. Regardless, they do have a fake tree, but they've only had one for the whole time that they've had them. They've never had to replace it yet. So I know that my aunt however, has been through multiple fake Christmas trees. So I thought we would give her a call today during this video and ask her how many trees she's been through and on average how long she keeps them. So yes, this is anecdotal, but I think it's a good thing to do just to keep it in mind. So let's do that right now. Hey P, are you busy? No, uh-uh. Okay, I need, I need your input for a video I'm working on. Oh, okay. Do, does that sound okay? Yeah. Okay. So I'm making a video about which Christmas tree is more sustainable. And my first question is basically how long does the average consumer of an artificial tree keep their tree? So how many fake trees have you bought in your life? Three. Three? Yeah, but I still got my first one and actually that's the one I'm using this year. <laughs> Wait, so why do you have three of them? Well, because this my first one several of the sections of lights went out and so I, oh. went, a I went after after Christmas when everything was like 75% off over at um, Garden Ridge and bought me another one I and see. it turned out to be a real little one so the next year I bought another one that was the right size <laughs> but then the rats got in the garage and ate all the wiring <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> yeah Ew. and so after all that 
my first one is the nicest shaped one and the biggest one is the prettiest one. So I said, screw it. I just put it up. Well, Jerry put it up and I just threw extra lights on there where they were missing. <laughs> okay, so how long ago did you buy your first tree? Did you say that already? Oh, no. Um, how long have I had this fake tree? Shit, I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. I can't remember. It's okay. Maybe it has been 10 years. I had real trees at first, but then I think I changed over to this one when I was over there. So probably about 10 or 11 years then, I guess. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Super helpful. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> Thank you. You're going to be in my video, so keep an eye out for it. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, so actually that's super relieving in a way knowing that she's kept up with that tree for 10 years and it's lasted her that long that means that they're pretty good quality because I don't really have a lot of things that I've had for 10 years so I can only imagine that that makes means that they're decent quality so that that's a good that gives me a little bit of hope um, in the realm of artificial Christmas trees so if you remember what my second question was my second question was how much water does it take to produce an average Christmas tree that is a real Christmas tree right how long does it take for those trees to grow up and in that span of time how much water does it take to produce those trees in addition to that something I, I knew I wasn't going to find data on but another thing that we need to take into consideration is the nutrients that go into the soil to grow those trees. Now this is getting super sciencey, although this is the stuff I love, but on this channel I try to keep it super easy to understand, but essentially the fertilizers that we put on like crops and stuff like that is like nitrogen, phosphorus, and those sort of nutrients uh, are very often able to be taken away with runoff water. Does that make sense? Stay with me. So we put these nutrients on the trees to help them grow, but whenever it rains, those nutrients can run off, get into our water systems, and that causes some serious issues known as dead zones and eutrophication. I think I've mentioned this to you guys before that when I go back to school, that's what I want to study, dead zones and eutrophication. I'm really passionate about the science behind that and how we can reduce it and come up with different things that can help us avoid these horrible situations in our oceans and in our waterways. But regardless, that's something to take into consideration, the environmental impacts of raising a tree like that. And then the last thing to consider uh, is things like pesticides and herbicides. So these trees, from what I was able to find during my research online, take between 8 and 12 years to become a tree that you're going to put into your living room. So think about how much water, how many nutrients, how many pesticides and herbicides it might take to grow a little baby tree for 10 plus years up to become a real tree that you're going to take and put into your house for a few weeks. If you can't tell by now, I think the notion of all of these things is just a little too wasteful and don't mean enough to me to be doing either one of them. That's why Madison and I don't have a Christmas tree and I can make a video talking more about my feelings on Christmas and all of this type of stuff in general. But anyway, my whole point is that there are positives and negatives to each one of these things and the concerns that we are comparing are totally different. So we already talked about what it takes to create a real tree, but if we talk about what it takes to create a fake tree, it's really kind of concerning because if you don't know, plastic comes from petroleum, right? So we all know the impacts of drilling for petroleum on wildlife, on our oceans, on our atmosphere as well. So just the production to create those plastics emits a lot of greenhouse gases. It also requires us to drill into the oceans and on land, and we know the harmful impacts of ocean and oil drilling. So on one side you're comparing water usage and nutrient usage, and on the other side you're comparing greenhouse gases, trouble with drilling for petroleum and stuff like that. Now if we talk about disposal, I was not able to find any resources online of people that take artificial trees and recycle them. There may be some programs in your local areas and if there are, that's great. Leave them down below so that anybody passing by this video who might live in your area can use them. Definitely leave that information if you know about it or if you find it after watching this video. Maybe you Google it and you find something. Let us know in the comments. Um, but the disposal of an artificial tree is definitely harmful because the materials that they are made out of will last on this planet for centuries if not virtually forever because once plastics are even broken down they become something called microplastics that are really easy to seep through filters and stuff like that and get into our bodies and the bodies of wildlife as well on the other hand natural trees there are really easy ways to recycle them they've been used in the past to recreate beaches and also banks within rivers and even if they weren't they are completely biodegradable because it's just wood right so taking all these things into consideration 
consideration. I want to know what you guys think. Which tree do you feel is more sustainable? Did you know about all of the things that go into creating these resources? And which tree will you be choosing if you haven't chosen already? I also have this really serious frustration with celebrating Christmas or the holiday season before Thanksgiving is over. So if you already bought your Christmas tree, like do you. But if you haven't chosen your tree yet, let me know which one you will be choosing. And if you already have, let us know and why and there's no reason to be ashamed of either one of the ways that you did it. I do not ever want you guys to watch these videos and feel like I'm shaming you in any way. My whole purpose of this channel is to educate you, inform you of things that maybe you didn't know before and get you to start thinking about them. All in all, if I were going to choose between the artificial tree or the real tree, I would probably choose a real one just because I feel like that is something that can be biodegraded and won't be on this earth forever. I think that that is the more sustainable option, but if you disagree, absolutely let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to let me know which tree you have chosen this year and remember until next time, create the peace.